Hello, glad you could join us. We're doing section 8-4, angles of elevation and depression. All right, now, an elevator, where do they help you go? Up, okay? So therefore, our angle of elevation means that we are going to go up. That would be this angle right here, elevation. Because it is going up. All right, so like pretend this dotted line is our point of view, like where we're doing, like where we're looking around, and we look up, we are making an angle of elevation. And that angle is formed from our eye line and what we're looking up at, okay? So that's our angle of elevation. Now, if you're elevated, great, you're going up, you're on a cloud, it's beautiful, you're in love. Angle of depression, not as happy. Depression means you're looking down. It'd be in my point of sight and looking down. It'd be the angle formed right there. Okay? So, elevation, up, that's the angle. Depression, going down. Okay? So, that was easy. Alright, um, let's do an example problem. Okay? Let's see. I'm going to read out of the book, so if you have one, great. An air traffic controller at an airport sights a plane at an angle of elevation of 41 degrees. So I can go ahead and draw this. So obviously the ground is going to be set. He's looking up at the plane. 41 degrees. All right. The pilot reports that the plane's altitude is 4,000 feet. So altitude, we know from our terms, we're not going to measure altitude of a plane and go squiggly line, crazy straw to the ground. We're not going to loop around Massachusetts and come back, okay? We're going to go straight down and make it a 90 degree angle. That's how you measure altitude, okay, people? That's real life. Okay, obviously, when he looks, his eyes aren't going to wiggle. Um, you have to apologize for my line. All right, we said that's 4,000 feet, okay? What is the horizontal distance between the plane and the airport? Around the nearest foot. Horizontal means side to side, so we're finding this. Okay? We're going to do what we learned over the last couple sections. We need to know so, ka, toa. Some old hag caught another hag tripping on acid, which I don't recommend you should ever do. Acid. Alright, now, from this angle, I like to circle my angles because I like to do things correctly. What is 4000's relationship? Opposite. X is adjacent, that is tangent, it's the only one with the O and the A. So tangent of 41 equals opposite, because it comes first, so it's on top, 4,000 over adjacent, which is X. Now, we know from me teaching you in the last section or two that if that variable is on the bottom, all you do is switch those two. A little switcheroo. X equals 4,000 divided by tangent of 41, and that's going to give us our. Distance, okay? Now, first thing I'm doing is I'm checking the mode, making sure I'm in degree mode. Check. All right, now I'm just going to do 4,000 divided by tangent of 41. And I got my answer is 4,601 point, and they said around to the nearest foot, and it was 0.4, so I'm done. Got my answer. Just like that, ladies and jelly beans, boys and squirrels, we are done. And I don't know what I'm looking for. Easter eggs. <laughs>